Ano nga ba ang mga best inventions in the past 30 years? And how these things or inventions change the way we live today? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa ating first learning episodes with me, Sir Christopher Ramos Bergara. Pero bago ang lahat, isa muna ang pagbati mula sa pamantasan ng Nueva Ecija, ng Agham at Teknolohiya at ng Kolehyo ng Edukasyon. In 2009, the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School conducted a study regarding the best inventions we have in the past three decades. So now, let's try to see the list. Number one or top inventions natin is yung internet and the world wide web. Number two is yung PC and laptop computers. Number three is mobile devices. Number four is email. And number five is DNA testing and sequencing. As we try to break down and analyze the list, we can see that the central concepts revolve around information technology. Information technology is a game changer. It significantly affects the way we live today. Paano? Pag-aralan natin yan dito sa ating learning episode. You are a member of Always On Generation. If you are spending 8 hours or more a day looking at various screens such as cell phones, computers, or TV, you are considered as digital native, constantly busy with the text or instant messaging, email, and internet. Next, let's try to define kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng information technology in a formal way. It is a general term that describes any technology that helps to produce, control, store, communicate, and or distribute the information. Examples of IT include personal computers as well as modern types of telephones, televisions, appliances, and various mobile devices. Next, we will discuss the parts of information technology. Generally, it was divided into two. First, we have the computer technology. A computer is a programmable, multi-use machine that accepts the data, raw facts, and figures, and process and manipulates it into information that we can use. Ang main purpose ng computer ay mapabilis ang ating trabaho at para makapag-save tayo ng time at effort. Next, we have the communications technology. Communication technology also called as telecommunication technology. Consists of electromagnetic devices and systems for communicating over long distances. Ito naman po yung mga devices or equipments na ginagamit natin para makakuha o makapagbahagi ng impormasyon. The principal examples are telephones, radio, broadcast televisions, cable, TV. In more recent times, there has been an addition of communication among computers which was happen among people who go online on the internet. Next, we will try to discuss and analyze kung ano ba yung mga naging significant contributions of information technologies in various fields. Number one, in education. In education, it promises a more interactive and individualized learning. That's why in the teacher education curriculum, Included po ang educational technology o technology for teaching and learning. So teachers can develop mastery of using various educational software or applications. It will also help us to change the classroom settings from traditional na teacher-centered into a more engaging and interactive na learner-centered classroom. When properly integrated into curriculum and classroom, information technology allows students to personalize their knowledge, automate many tedious road tasks of teaching and managing classes, and reduce the teacher's workload per students so that he or she can spend more time on reaching individual students. Next, in health, telemedicine is a new concept to us wherein medical care 
was delivered via telecommunications. Computer technology is radically changing the tools of medicine. All medical information, including generated by X-ray, lab test, pulse monitor, can now be transmitted to a doctor in a digital format. As we experience the COVID-19 pandemic, big pharmaceutical companies develop vaccine formula within a short period of time. Although may mga clinical trials pa na kailangan pagdaanan to test its safety and effectiveness. Next, money. We are now moving into a cashless society. The future of money is increasingly digital, like virtual and possibly universal. We are now encouraged to use mobile banking and e-payment. Next, for leisure, information technology is being used for all kinds of entertainment, ranging from video games to telegambling, and, in the, and it is being used in the arts from painting to photography. Ako, personally, ginagamit ko ang information technology as my stress reliever, like watching video, videos in the Facebook, YouTube, or Netflix. Next, we have the government and electronic democracy. The internet and other information technology have helped government in delivering better services and paved the way for making governmental operations more transparent to the public. As of now, marami na pong platforms na, na pwedeng ma-avail ang mga government services online. And we can further see yung mga transactions na pinasok ng gobyerno because of freedom of information. We can, have, we can even report yung mga irregularities or corrupt officials sa Civil Service Commission or directly to the office of the president. And lastly, we have the jobs and careers. Today, almost every job and profession requires computer skills. Some are ordinary jobs in which uh, requires computer use as ordinary tools. Others are specialized jobs, which in the use advanced knowledge about computer. In our case, we use technology to improve the quality of education for our students.